well here we are today this is a really good match a match I look forward to every year and it's the air festival and uh, you remember I fished it last year and now I finished fifth I think it was and Dennis was fourth and we tied on on points they beat me on weight which he keeps reminding me about would you believe that a fan fancy ticket mick out an no man like me but it was first time I'd fished it first time I'd seen it and I was blown away and I just can't believe the river the river air now this is uh, West Hathersley and uh, last year on day one I drew the third tree down that's where I drew with uh, just down there peg 30 and today I've drawn peg 25 but this is the air festival it's a three day on section points I'm on this section today I think I'm the next section uh, above which is over there which I'll show you in a second and then I'm at Beale um, on Thursday so it's unbelievable I can't believe this we're a few miles from Selby and just look at this river this river right you can see there it goes round a bend then and sweeps to the left just pa just past that last white van you can see and you can see we're all parking behind us pegs it's absolutely awesome and uh, it goes all the way up there this is a bit of a straight and it goes a sweeping bend there let's see if I can get it a bit closer for you there you can see this, the sweeping bend and then it goes all the way around and all them vans are us where the river and it goes back on yourself up to peg one like that all the way and that's where we come in that's peg I think that's peg three on the or two on the the last car and then we drive up that track on his way on his way but so it goes all the way around a great big sweeping bend like this it's absolutely incredible and uh, like I said last year it was first time I fished it and I had 10 pound four there were 10 six 10 seven 10 somewhere else two elevens and I was sixth and uh, if I'd have been on it before I would have 100% won my section if I knew what I knew now I would have won my section uh, but I didn't and so that's the way it goes but god every time I come I just go wow how good is this it's absolutely incredible I, I just love the place I came other week and I drew up at Beale and had 14 pound caught them all in two hours and uh, uh, Dennis come down put me right give me a telling off as he normally would uh, only disappointment about this next three days is Dennis is not here he hurt his son last week and uh, he's, uh, he's, he, he can't come so if he's not coming fishing he's hurt his son so uh, but he's all right. Said he's all right. Don't worry about him. But uh, he's a tough nut. But it's it's old, and you can imagine him trying to get down these banks and everything. You know, I'm having problems. But that's the only disappointment about this place is uh, it's raw fishing. It's old school fishing. But that's why these lads come because that's what they love. But what we're fishing for today? Well, there's a bit of water in there's six inches of water, and it's just move, moving a little bit, which is probably not even summer level yet. But there is a little bit of water. It might freshen everything up. And believe it or believe it not, if you can see all that rubbish there on the top, all that rubbish floating down, that's about eight nine metres, right, um, out. And that's how deep it is. It's actually 20 foot deep where that rubbish is there. And it's on a straight which I was gobsmacked at. It's nearly 20 foot deep just there. So I'll set a three and four gram fl float up. And because you still catch roach in that, believe it or not, and across it's 12 foot so the shallow water is on the other side now because of this bit of water there could be a few skimmers and bream caught today and there's a big fish just come up there just you can just see where it's blowing there look now honestly i don't know where to catch these bream i don't know where to fish so i'm just going to pick a spot probably two thirds and, and go from there so i'm going to fish for roach where that where that rubbish is just loads feed hemp and and maggots might have a little perch lying down, it's eight, it's eight foot the other side of them reeds, so that could be nice. And then see if I can catch a skimmer or two early on, on tip and then build it up with roach. I, I always have a thing that 20 foot of water is too deep for roach in England. It's weird, but oh no, Dennis said it ain't, so I ain't going to argue with him. But that's not a disappointment, he's not here, because it's, we, we, last year we had a great three days, we were in the same zone and we had a right laugh. So what have I set up? Well you can see my ground bait, I've got two ground baits. Right, I've got a roach ground bait which is dark, it's just got to be riddled yet, a bit of time to go yet, and that's my skimmer which is a bit more fish mealy. Um, so I've got two, I've got two ground baits, one for tip and one for my roach. 
and so that's that's all it is straightforward roach mitch it, it's nice dark dark color i'm going to put three or four biggins in a start lace with some hemp um, and, and a bit of three mil fulca because i think that the roach like that uh, and fuel casters and then i'm just going to loose feed hemp over top of that so rigs you can see how deep it is look at this for a rig look at that that's the float there and it goes all the way down you can see i'm going there i've got no top sections i've only got one pole i've got no big sections so i'm having to make it up as i go along but that's literally eight meters and then you go down here i've got a three and a four gram well little perch rig and right, just be careful i'm getting old as you well know and uh, and you can i'm going to do it from here I'm nice and comfy once I get down to my peg as you can see and uh, I've got my tip rod set up there, nice big feeder you can see my bait tray there look you can see my bait tray, what I've got and uh, and I've got a bit of corn and I've got to chop some worms up yet and, and that's about it really because it's natural fishing you don't really need much more so you can see I'm all got my flask fist out while I'm tipping and uh, I'm all set up nicely there to be honest with you and that's the only thing about when you come on natural fishing, you've got to dig your sand in a little bit, but it's, it's all right, it's cool. I'm comfy as hell when I'm sat down there, it's just getting in. Um, but this is not a bad one, to be fair, and there's some a lot better than this. But I want to show you something. This is Dennis, right? He's been whinging about me all week. In fact, I got a compliment, which I'm going to tell you about in a minute. He sent me a little bag, look. See if I can show you what's in it. Right, young and that, he says. Right, do this. He sent me a bag, and look what's in here. Look what's in here. Some floats. You sent me a load of floats. Tears. Hemp. Look at that. Anybody just have a little ice pack? No, not Dan. It's a great big one. And he sent me tears and hemp and everything. And, and a set of floats that he says are mine for ages. He sent that this morning. What a man. Um, so. Uh, he's a top bloke in here. <laughs> I don't know when I just shook my head and went, I don't know what to say, really. So I sent that through with Obson. He's gone out of his way to do all that. Um, so I better catch him some fish, aren't I? But look at it. I mean, if you're into natural fishing, this is fantastic. I, I know you keep, you know, I keep saying it, but it is. You know, you've got a new junction and you think, really? Did, it, it was never like this years and years ago. And I spoke to Pete Barron this morning. In fact, I got a telling off of Pete Barron, to be honest, which is not unsurprising because everybody gets one. And uh, he says, "Yo, come here." He says, "You put on my, your your post last year. There's Pete Barron can get seventeen pound off a peg that you drew your Brett Will record." And he, gave, <laughs> he told me off. <laughs> so at least he remembered, and that was twelve months ago. So he remembered. He hadn't forgot about it. He's not seen you since. And uh, so we, we had a bit of laugh about that. So what I'm going to do. That's that's my post this morning, the setup. I really ain't got a clue what to expect. It's pushing through a bit, to be fair. And uh, so I think there'll be some skimmers caught. I really do. I'm listening to all the lads and they all think same. So I think I'm going to have an hour for skimmers. Loads feed me, me roach line and see what happens when I go on it. But I think I think we'll need a few skimmers. But So this is the River Air in West Athersley. It's run by, I think it's Lees and District. I know we've got a bit of Bradford water in. I think this is Lees and District. And look at it, rivers where you can park behind. You go on trench, park behind your pegs. You come on rivers here, park behind your pegs. It's great. If you're a natural angler, why wouldn't you want to do this? Eh? It's fantastic. Have a great day. Well, everybody. Here we are on day two of the Air Festival, and uh, uh, I'm a bit gutted, honestly. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Um, one, I was uh, I drew peg twenty five, which is uh, further downstream, and uh, I was last in my section, so there were no Chinese. In fact, I went home and I was proper, proper upset with myself and uh, and I don't know why I couldn't catch I got battered 11 pound either side one caught roach one caught skimmers and I couldn't catch either I didn't expect to catch many roach because it were 20 odd foot deep or 20 foot deep and it's not good for roach and I, what I did I probably fished too far out I should have done what Brown did above me and just took a section off and caught everything small fish and everything but 
I didn't think £10 would be enough to be honest with you. But the lad below me, who I couldn't see, fished a great match, £11 a skimmers and a bream and and I had one skimmer and I fished a far. I fished a far over, fished two thirds, he fished it deep up to down middle. So I basically got it completely wrong. So I must admit I was proper mad with myself last night. I, were, I went home and uh, poor old Ben here, look I brought Ben to uh, I was proper down, if that's the way to put it. I, I just confused. Dennis was like, what? I just couldn't catch any fish, couldn't catch any roach. And last 15 minutes I caught six roach. But I've been fishing all day, so they're definitely coming with peg late on. Uh, but it was so much to do with depth. So I'm out of competition, which I hate. I must have had a I really hate being out of competition. Um, but it is, isn't it? It's you know, it's what it's what it's about, and uh, I got my lines wrong, uh, I got my feeding wrong, everything wrong. Just look, real lack of experience. On it really cost me yesterday, it really did. Um, but end of day, that's fishing. And uh, but I, I must have been out of leagues for a day because you're just fishing for daily money now, and you ain't got to chase for points. So it's a bit of a gamble trying with match both days on trap. But I must admit, I were a bit down. So day two. And like I said, it's a great festival, and I wanted to draw this section, this two sections of ten here. And if you look behind me now, like that, look at it. There you go. There you go. That. Beautiful. Now, last year when I came here, I drew with that silver cap. That's the peg I drew, 174, and uh, it was really deep, probably 25 foot at 10 meters. It were a proper deep. And Dennis. One or second in the match, two pegs up, and he had 18 pounds. And I think I, that's where I caught them big perch. Um, so this is peg 170, and it is look peg 170, and it's a bit of a climb down, but it's all right, it's been worked out. I'm, I'm nice and settled down there. Uh, it's, once you get down there, it's nice. But this is a different peg, it's not a good peg, I can tell. You can always tell when you draw your peg, and nobody says, Oh, yeah. And whenever it's quiet and oh, and they all humming and ahhing, and you all just know when you're on the fest and you've got two spare peggers either side, you know you haven't drawn very well when they put every peg in. So, but this section split, and the first section is where I was all the week, uh, <laughs> where all fish are at the moment. Lots of fish that we already won it yesterday, and there were quite a lot of fish, and I've drawn this part. So even though it's section points are seven, I wanted a peg to win match, and I don't think I've got one really. But anyway, it's what it is. But it's a bit shallower and it's 10 foot deep at 11 meters but it's stood it's not moving it's actually stood just there so whether they're going to come into that because i've gone a bit further it's still stood so that's probably why they don't catch ropes to be honest with you because there's no flow and uh, so i'm going to fish a feeder i'm going to fish feed a bit longer because i'm going to try and catch some skimmers and maybe a bream and you can catch them i think anyway really and then loose feed a ball it in, loose feed and see what happens if any ropes move in but not so sure they're going to come in. Six pound come off this peg yesterday so that tells you everything. But it's what it is, you know it looks nice over there actually with trees but they're not in my peg so um, but can't really grumble, a bit disappointed. I've been right looking forward to this, I brought my mascot today, look there he is. See if he bring me a bit of luck. I thought I might as well bring him because I'm no to lose and uh, he's already been at water, had his backside at water. So anyway, slipped out bang, so that's only going to be a matter of time before he goes in fully. But this is, the uh, I think this is the Bradford section at Beale. And you can see the big sweeping bend there and you come down that straight and there's a big sweeping bend there. So hopefully we get a few fish. Like I say, I'm a bit down about it, but it's what it is. I'll have a day's fishing and try and get some section money or some overall money if I can. Straightforward, two poles set up, feed a rod. Uh, two ground baits, same as yesterday. If you look at me, th thing from yesterday, you'll see that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do. I'm, I'm actually going to do this all in one. So like a, an air festival summary of the whole week. And at the moment, it's not looking good. But anyway, that's fishing. Not to worry. Have a great day. Well, here we are, day three of the air festival. And uh, did I have a better day yesterday after my first day disaster. And uh, I couldn't sleep, or in the right mess. Well, actually, I did have a bit of better day, um, but uh, I didn't have a good start. <laughs> now I know you're going to laugh. 
Um, but at start, the shouted time, and I put my pole out, being idle, I, I were a bit racked off, put it on top of water, threw four balls in, thought that'll do, come back, and I got fast. And as I pulled, my number four snapped in half, and it went, it went, zoom straight into water, and I couldn't get it. <laughs> Stop laughing. I, I know you're laughing. Stop laughing. And. Uh, so I 200 quid down before I'd actually put a maggot on hook. So that was that done. And uh, I thought, oh, that's great. That. So I'd only got one rig set up then. So anyway, my peg were about 40 odd yard wide and it was stood. There were hardly any flow in it. I remember I drew 170. So a fish tip to start with. And uh, second chuck I got a pommy, which is uh, silver bream basically. We call them pommies, but they are silver bream. They're actually species six ounce then i got one 12 ounce and then i got two or three more got two little skimmers and i'm gonna buy a cast on on uh, three red maggots or a bit of worm then i got one two pound a bream then i got one a pound we after an hour and a half and i thought i'm gonna catch some now and then i couldn't catch i just had a few for an odd fish an odd bite went on pole but it was still doing no flow and uh, i finished with catching 20 roach and finished up with i think i think i had about 20 roach and probably 20 pommies and them two bream and I weighed 11 pound two and uh, I joined second section uh, 15 pound one section on slider again in fact he's added two wins in the last two days on slider so that tells you everything but there were no flow there were plenty of roach where over there were no flow I needed a bit of flow and you probably saw it bank from a, a, a bit earlier on it video it were like uh, well it was steep, so uh, it were uh, it wasn't very good. But so I had an eleven pound tool, come second, so got a got a little bit of Chinese money uh, for last night. And uh, but of course I'm out it overall, so because I was last on first day, so I'm trying to win match every day. So I've got a I've got a one point and a and a six point, so I'm not going to win out overall. So I'm just here for day. So where am I today? Well, I'm at West Adders Lake. There you go. Peg three. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Eh? Now, if you remember, on an earlier video last year, I was at peg four, just down there, the next one down. And Dennis were on this peg, and I beat him, uh, which is very, very rare on this river. And I was quite chuffed, but then overall, we tied on points, and he beat me on weight, which me, me happiness soon went down because he's never let me live it down. But this is peg three, now this is a great peg. And by the way, look who's come to watch me today. Look at that, eh? <laughs> right, he's taking notes, he's got his notepad and everything, that, 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 eh? I'm going on now. <laughs> Silly <laughs> enough. <laughs> he's come out for day with me to, to sit and have a laugh and a joke. And uh, I didn't bring Ben because it said it was going to rain. And it's not raining. Yeah. So it's poor old Ben sat at home, I could have brought him. And he had a he good yesterday, sat and laid with me all day. I could have brought him, but I thought forecast said it was going to rain, so I didn't bring him. So basically, this is my peg, and this is a roach peg. It's 10 foot deep, and these are where they catch the roach. It's, it's like 10 foot deep there, they're like four meters, and it's 10 foot deep on the far bank. It's like a billiard table. And these are brilliant roach pegs, really good. I know uh, there's been two roach weights off it, but this area is a really good area for it. So all I've done today, my bait is maggots, uh, casters and tears. I'm going to put some ground bait in and I've got a waggler rod set up and I've got two pole rigs. I've got three quarter gram and a gram and a quarter. And I've, I've even set a whip up because Keith obviously were on this peg yesterday and he said it's full of little roach. So I thought I'll set a whip up just in case and might even start on that. And uh, so that, that's what we're going to do. Just fish for roach, see what happens, see if I can get a stone of roach and uh, and take my chance, but I'm quite looking forward to it really. Straightforward, but isn't it beautiful? Just look at that, what a great place. I must admit, I fell in love with this river. It's, why wouldn't you want to be anywhere? I mean, you're like literally two or three miles from Selby and uh, you won't think it were on the same, same country, never mind, same village. But look at that, beautiful. Now, I know that they don't catch many bream and skimmers here, so that's why I'm fishing for roach. They catch an odd skimmer further down and in that bend there. Peg one Adam last year, he won the section with 15 pound of skimmers, so I know they catch, and apparently one's topped already, a great big one. Um, but that's, that's all it is, so all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fish for roach, never a roach match, and I'll let you know at the end how we get on. Have a great day.
Well, that's the end of the three day festival. And, uh, and all I can say is that was a weird old stupid day. And uh, I fished peg three, as you know, and I've had seven pound, what were it, Al? Seven? Five? Seven five. Seven five. And he sat there all day and watched me. And I said I've got 414. No, you and said you've got 54 and I said 414. That's it, 54 and and we're both blown away because I've had 75. And we actually had a genuine guess at that. And I honestly thought I'd get a roach every chuck in. And uh, and uh, I've had I started on, on, on whip and had three roach, three put little and half ounce fish. No good. Went up long pole, went straight under on a tear. Got one, three ounce, thought, here we go. I never had a bite for an hour. Never had a bite for an hour. And I'm like, wow. And on these pegs, Keith Hobson had six bites every chuck in yesterday. I, I had a quick waggler, I couldn't catch. It, they just fit, and nobody were catching. It was fishing terrible. So I set my feeder rod up, went across, I went two thirds, and I put some worm in. I got half a dozen perch and a little pommy. And uh, I finished up. Uh, catching no and I kept picking my pole up thinking they'll go they'll come they'll come them roast and we're now to go I picked it up 15 minutes previous not the bad picture we're now to it's gone I've got one now I've got another one and I bet I've had 18 roach in the last hour but down my peg and of them 18 roach would have gone probably four pound at least at least four pound and so I weigh seven five and would you believe it I've won the section second yesterday and last on first day and what's strange about that last on first day that the day after chris burton. chris burton who fishes here river angler drew my peg and had four pound so whether there's something about the peg i don't quite know so have i been lucky i don't know so i've had a one or two and a last so i've not to come over all but i've got two pickups so I've probably got 100 quid to come which will be a nice chinese tonight absolutely love the competition the river is full of fish with three days on trot roach fishing. Maybe that's not the best, but there's still 20 pounds of roach further down. But look at it. I'll tell you one thing, I'm coming back next year and I'm bringing him and all. <laughs> He's been sat and watched me all day and we've had a eight giddle. We've had a giddle from two lads above me and uh, we've, we've had a laugh. And th these people that come on this tarp match are different to everybody else. They're old lads, old school. Awesome. Uh, the, oh, well, that's the right word, Al, I just said awesome. And it's a pleasure to fish with him, it really is. But I'll tell you something, I'd love to come here with some colouring because it's full of skimmers, full of bream and pommies. And the feed, when it's coloured, it's just too clear. And as I'm looking at things, y'all probably can't see it, but there's loads and loads of fish topping. So I've been a bit unlucky first day. I've been really unlucky. So but I can't grumble, thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed looking at the, the, uh, the river. It's just fantastic. It is awesome. I just love this river, the river air. And uh, like I said, we parked behind his pegs. Loved it. And uh, can't wait for next year. Hope you've enjoyed it. Have a great night. Bye.